Congratulations, everyone. We all made it through Thanksgiving dinner. With the price of Thanksgiving dinner costing the average American family 13% more than it did last year, and the cost of turkey up 21%, many of us are wondering when this inflation nightmare will end. Thanksgiving may be over, but Christmas is rapidly approaching, and oftentimes Christmas dinner can be much more elaborate and more expensive. As a credit card YouTuber, I'm going to try to help you out as much as I can in the only way I know how. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about a few credit cards that can help you with your grocery bill this Christmas. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Before we begin, it could be a huge help to me if you can hit the like button down below, subscribe and turn on notifications to help me with the YouTube algorithm. Since I'm a newer channel, getting videos in front of as many people as possible is very difficult and I appreciate your help. Just so you know, usually my lists include cards without annual fees, but this one will include some annual fees and some without. So to start off the list, we have the Chase Sapphire Preferred. The relevant category for this card is the online grocery shopping category where you can get 3x back. And this means you're shopping through companies like Instacart or Shipt. This is a handy card to have in general as it already gets you 5x back on the Chase Travel Portal, 3x back on dining, and 2x back on all other travel. Points on this card are worth 1.25 cents per point when exchanged through the travel portal, but can also be transferred to partners like Hyatt, where you can get an average of 2 cents per point. This card does carry a $95 annual fee and it's offset by a $50 hotel credit through the travel portal. This makes the effective annual fee $45. You also gain an additional one point for every $10 spent every account anniversary year. Now, amongst this list, I think the 3x on the online grocery spending category is probably the weakest rewards multiple. Supplier. This sort of serves as a heads up in case you already have this card. Next up on the list is the American Express Gold Card. This card gives you Forex back on grocery and dining purchases on a combined $25,000 in spending per year. The Amex Gold carries a $250 annual fee, but it's offset by a $120 credit to Uber given in $10 increments per month, and another $120 dining credit for select merchants also given as a $10 credit every month. If you are a user of these credits, it then brings the effective annual fee down to $10. I do like this card because it gives you a Forex category in dining and groceries, and it's amongst the highest of any of the cards on this list. Points on this card are worth one cent per point using the travel portal, but can be worth up to two cents per point using travel transfer partners, meaning you can get an average of 8% back on groceries using this card. Now, before we talk about the no annual fee cards, I have one more annual fee card to discuss, and that's the American Express Blue Cash Preferred card. This card gives you 6% back on groceries for up to $6,000 in spend per year. It also gets 6% back on streaming services and 3% back on gas and transit. And this card carries a $95 annual fee, but it's waived in the first year. If you don't think that you can spend enough to justify the $95 annual fee, the Blue Cash Preferred has a no annual fee counterpart called the Blue Cash Every Day, and it's one of my personal favorites. This card gets 3% back on groceries for up to $6,000 per year. It also gets 3% back on online retail purchases like Amazon and 3% back on gas stations. In addition, there is a $7 per month credit that you can get on this card for the Disney bundle. This is one of, if not the only, no annual fee card to offer credits like this. The last card on this list is the City Custom Cash card. It's a fantastic card in the City family. It earns City thank you points that you can transfer to travel partners through the City Premier or cashed out at one cent per point. This is a great addition to your wallet regardless of your setup because it essentially allows you to pick one category to receive 5x back. And one of those categories can be groceries. Given that city thank you points when transferred to travel partners are worth two cents per point, if you have a city premier card, you could potentially get 10% back when transferring to travel partners. And I recognize that we all have reasons to not get credit cards, even if the rewards and benefits are good. It could be that you don't want to use a 524 slot, or maybe you don't want too many hard inquiries, or maybe you're trying to get a US bank card and US bank is like the overly attached girlfriend of credit card issuers. Now listen, if you have a 524 slot to spare, I highly recommend getting this card for the reasons I stated earlier. And if nothing else, you can get 5% back on Christmas dinner, whether you're eating in or eating out. Let me know what card you use for groceries in the comments down below. If you like videos like this, you can check out more using the link to my channel in the description down below, where you can find more videos discussing credit cards. Tis the season to get free stuff. 